Hey there guys, JD again, and I'm here to talk about the newest update to Stream Warrior, and that is subscriber goals. When you go into the stage, you can click on edit scene, and the button down here, sub goals, will now add a subscriber goal bar to your scene. You can click on this and change it a lot like you can an alert. Scrolling up and down will change the size of the text. Middle click will reset the size of the text. You can change the quality of the font. You can change the font itself as usual. Let me see, what, what font should we use? Let's just do League Spartan Master, why not? There we go. You can use all these new controls over here, which are exclusive to the sub goal customization. We can change the goal itself. And you'll notice that the color of the bar changed as the goal increased. And I will show you how to achieve that effect. You can use the color picker to customize all the colors of the bar. Left clicking on the color picker will change the color of the text. Right clicking will change the color of the bar itself. I'm going to change it to red because the color of the bar actually is in two parts. You have a minimum color and you have a maximum color. The minimum color is the color it'll start out as and the maximum color is the color that will approach as you get closer and closer to subscriber goal. Right clicking will change the min color and max color at the same time. However, if we hold control and click, it will change the, only the max color. And so now you'll see if I hit goal and make it larger, we'll be further from our goal, so it'll be red. But as we get closer to our goal, it turns orange. And then as we reach our goal, it turns lime green, which is what we picked over here with control plus right click. And I'm going to change this back to 32. But if you don't want your goal bar to change color whatsoever, you can just use right click. If you want to change the color of the background shade right here, you can hold shift and right click. And that will change that color. One other thing we can do is we can toggle the text in case we don't like having text on there. Maybe you want to use OBS to display the text instead, which you can now, thanks to the new text file output, subscribergoal.txt, which will show your goal as formatted in Stream Warrior. And let me show you how to format that also. You'll see text format right here. If you click on that, a new prompt will come up, a lot like the alert text prompt. Percent %s will be replaced by your amount of subscribers. Percent %g will be replaced by your goal amount. And so you can customize that however you want. I'm going to change it to say uh, just goal colon percent %s slash percent %g, and it'll look like this. And then, of course, if I go over to the text file right here, it should come up the same way. It actually hasn't updated yet. It only updates, I think, every 20 seconds. So let's see. We can toggle the bar entirely in case you don't want the health bar style subscriber goal. We can toggle just the background in case you don't like that part. Maybe you want to use an image background in OBS, or maybe you want to you know, use it as part of your overlay design. Or in case you don't like the bar at all, you can turn it off entirely. You can turn the text off entirely. You can toggle the outline, which will leave you just with colored rectangles instead of colored rectangles with e the one pixel black outline. And then what's the other feature? Oh, right. If you don't want your subscriber goal to be on screen anymore, you can just hit the button again and it goes away. But once it's gone from the screen, your text file is not going to update anymore. If you want your text file to update your goal without your goal being on screen, just turn off the bar and the text at the same time. You'll see the it'll still leave a rectangle in edit mode, but it won't be visible in live mode. The other thing about subscriber goals is that, again, like alerts, they are dependent on the profile. So if we go to our other profiles, it will change style. So everything is profile dependent there. We can switch back and forth, and all of our settings change. I believe that covers everything with subscriber goals. I did fix a few other bugs related to edit mode 
that are described on the splash screen when you start up so you might see those other than that there aren't any new features besides subscriber goals in the new text file I am currently working on uh, the addition of a customizable chatbot as well as the fan funding donation alerts those are coming very soon since Mark Chambers uh, a YouTube developer specifically I think he's the the manager uh, of service providers at YouTube Live, something like that. He posted on the YouTube Gaming subreddit pre-release documentation to the YouTube Live chat API, which is what I will be using to create those features. In other news, this update, sorry it came out so late, guys. I was uh, I had a pretty busy week, several several exams, applying to colleges applying to transfer specifically University of California Stanford that kind of thing I actually put stream warrior on those applications so hopefully you know Stanford it finds it at least somewhat cool hopefully so that's it for this week guys let me know in the comments if you have any bugs crashes feature requests anything like that as usual uh, update to me if you want to stay in the loop regarding stream warrior any new updates will be posted to this channel major versions and I will try to get to any bugs or crashes as fast as I possibly can. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. That's it for this week. JD Barr signing off.